drummingforlife.com. Hey there, it's Vaughn at drummingforlife.com. Aloha, hope you're doing well. So today I want to share with you about my compact drum set that I use and I take for lots of my gigs here in Japan. It's called the Pearl Midtown Drum Set. And I'm going to start off by kind of taking a tour of it on the cart. And this is kind of the way that I transport it to all of my gigs on the train, if you can believe that. So you can see that it's all really nice and compact and it fits onto a regular kind of just a, a hand truck, hand cart you can buy at any hardware store or buy it online. And I've got it nicely stacked up and tied down. Uh, on the bottom is the hardware bag, inside there is the snare drum. Then I have my stick bag, I have the drum rug down there also. I have my uh, bass drum, and, and that's the bass drum bag. Inside is the bass drum. Inside the bass drum is the floor tom. I'm going to show you how I do that in a little bit. I got my rack tom up here on the top, and I've got my cymbals over here on the side. So here they are, all laid out on the floor in my studio, and you can kind of see, kind of get an idea of the, the total size that we're talking about here. It's pretty compact. Well, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel and uh, swish that like button. If you like what you see and uh, be sure to drop a comment, I'd love to connect with you and I do respond to all of my comments. So now let me take you on a tour of the inside of the cases. So let's start with the hardware case and I'm gonna put links to the cases and the hardware and the drum set and all those things uh, below in the description so you can check those out. But uh, inside the hardware case, I've got basically everything I need uh, for, the, for the hardware, and I've done a lot of research to try to find the best, light, lightest weight, easiest uh, uh, hardware that I could find. And uh, I'm going to show, show you that in just a minute. But it, as you can see in here, I got my snare drum, I have the kick pedal, uh, and another little pearl uh, uh, kick pedal or bag. And then I've got all the hardware here, kind of the shorter stuff here and the longer stuff this way. I've also got a, a music stand in here, a portable music stand, which is very helpful, which I use a lot on my gigs. So that's kind of the hardware case. So next I've got the bass drum, and inside the bass drum uh, on the top here, I like this protection racket uh, bass drum case. It works really, really great, uh, especially because it has this little pocket on the top. This is where I keep the, the uh, tie, kind of the ties to, to tie it down onto the cart. And I also I put this uh, Phillips head uh, screwdriver in there as well and you're going to see I'm going to use that in just a minute. So as I open it you can see inside we've got the bass drum. This is a 16 inch bass drum. Uh, it's a you know fantastic bass drum and I'm going to talk more about it uh, later too. But inside here I've got my floor tom and uh, in, kind of nested inside and uh, works really really great for travel. And the last thing I want to show you is inside my rack tom bag this is a 10 inch rack tom. Uh, I've got my uh, drum throne. So this works really great. Uh, this is just the top of the drum throne, obviously. Uh, but that just nests perfectly in there. And uh, I just zip it up and go. All right, so I've taken the bass drum out of the case and uh, I keep my tension rods finger tight when I pack it so that when I unpack it, it's gonna be a lot easier. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, loosen all the tension rods now. All right, I take it off, and now you can see inside I've got the, uh, the floor tom. And we just pull that out. Okay. It does get a little bit banged up putting the floor tom in there on the inside, but the drum set is not that expensive, so I think it's, it's okay. It's roadworthy. 
So now I put the uh, bass drum resonant head back on. Okay, so now I'm gonna tune up my bass drum. If you haven't checked out my video about how to tune your snare drum fast, I'll put the link uh, below in the description to that video as well. It's uh, a great video to help you know kind of exactly how I tune all of my drums. <music> Okay, so the bass drum is good to go. Now let's work on the floor tom. So this is kind of where it gets interesting. Uh, you have to do a little bit of assembly on the floor tom because you have to disassemble it a little bit as well. Uh, and let me show you what that is. So again, everything is finger tight, so all I'm gonna do is just loosen with my fingers. All right, now I'm gonna lift off the head. Put it over here for safekeeping. And as you can see inside, Aha, there's a little surprise. This is our, our uh, floor tom mount. This is where the, the leg goes inside, all right? And you have to take one of these off in order to get it to fit into a 16-inch 16, 16 bass drum. The Pearl Midtown is a 16-inch kick, a 13-inch floor tom, and a 10-inch tom. And so in order for it to fit in there, you've got to take this off, which isn't really that big of a deal. So that's why I carry my handy dandy screwdriver with me Ta -da! and everywhere I go it's easy to set it up and easy to get easy to get things going as soon as I can find it there it is so then I just take these and uh, take these screws out and I put it on the side all right so now that's done now I just put the head back on the top here <laughs> All right, so those two bad boys are done, and you know it really. Uh, I've done it so many times that it really doesn't take it doesn't take that that much time. So I think uh, being able to nest them is really a, a great feature of this drum set. Of course, they didn't originally design it to be that way, but when I figured out I could just take off that that uh, additional tom mount on the floor tom, it really was a game changer for me. It made it a lot easier to transport it anywhere I needed to go with that cart. Uh, and I think it even works well if you're driving a car and you want to, you know, have as much space. Maybe you've got a lot of instruments you've got to carry in the car. It's a great way to save space. All right, so here's all the, the hardware that I use on the drum set. And I searched uh, diligently to try to find the lightest weight and the most durable. Uh, and also not so expensive. So I'm also putting the links to all of this below as well. So you can check that out. Let me just take you on a quick tour. Uh, these, the floor tom legs come standard with the drum set, so those are really uh, not something you're going to have to buy separately. As well, on the top you have the, uh, you have the, uh, the, the tom uh, mount, that also, the tom arm comes standard with the drum set. Uh, but the rest of it I had, to, I had to buy. So let me start over here. I've got this, uh, this uh, music stand, lightweight music stand. It's a, you know, kind of a wired music stand. It works really, really good. Uh, it's not so lightweight that it, it falls apart and breaks on you. So for any of you out there who gig as much as I do, you know that if you buy a cheapy uh, stand, uh, you get what you pay for. So I think this is a really good stand. Uh, the Hercules stand works really, really great. It's lasted me a long time. Uh, over here I've got the, uh, the hi-hat stand. Now this is a Tama hi-hat stand. Uh, and you know, there's probably other there are other hi hat stands out there that maybe are lighter weight that you can find now. But uh, th at the time when I got it, uh, it worked. It was just perfect. Uh, it's really really lightweight. I don't know the exact uh, weight. You'll have to go check it out. Um, the, you know, like I said, the link is below. But it's a really really great hi hat stand. It's quiet. It's smooth. It feels like a regular hi hat stand. I don't miss using like a, a heavier hi hat stand at all very very good and the way it folds up is very compact it's a really ingenious design it's great 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 so I encourage you to check that out uh, if I move over here now this is this is my kind of piece de resistance this is the, the thing that that really blows people away when they see my kit set up live and you're gonna see it in, in, a, in a minute uh, this the symbol stands uh, I choose to mount them a little differently one is mounted on the the uh, rack tom mount and the rack tom arm as usually we would do 
The other one is actually mounted on one of the legs of the bass drum and it works great. There's no problem at all uh, and just amazing. And I think that's one of the things that saves you the most on the weight and the um, just the, being so cumbersome. If you can work this kind of system out, you're going to be doing great. Uh, using some Yamaha, basically Yamaha uh, cymbal stands, uh, mounted cymbal stands and arms. So very, very easy. And they're pretty lightweight. They're not super lightweight, but they're pretty good. Uh, over here I've got my, uh, I don't even know what this brand is. This is just a snare drum stand. I just looked for the lightest weight one I could find. And it's very compact and it works great. Missing one of the rubber feet, but that's, you know, it's road tested. So, um, and then over here I've got my uh, Yamaha um, uh, drum throne. And the drum throne cushion is up here, as you saw earlier. It's kind of on the smaller side, but hey, you know, we're going for compact here, and I think that's, that's our goal, and this really achieves that. It's also very lightweight. One thing I forgot to mention uh, is this kick pedal that I use. This is the Yamaha kind of compact kick pedal. It's not very expensive. Uh, I think it works really great and you can collapse it which is one of the really nice features about this particular kick, kick pedal so you can kind of make it more flat if you need to when you're uh, traveling all right so the last part of my hardware assembly is putting this this hardware here onto the bass drum leg and uh, let me show you how I do that. So you might have noticed at the beginning of the video and uh, also kind of the background music throughout is actually taken from the same concert and I used this exact drum set in that concert. So you're hearing this exact drum set in action. Uh, it's just a great sound. Uh, let me talk a little bit about the wood and uh, the drum sizes. The wood this drum set is made out of is called poplar wood and it's a softer wood than uh, maple. Usually I use maple for my drum sets, so I was a little bit reticent about, oh, okay, you know, poplar wood, but actually it's got great tone. So uh, there are really no concerns at all uh, regarding uh, the kind of wood that it's made out of. Uh, the drum sizes are a bass drum is a 16 inch diameter by 14 inches deep. The floor tom is a 13 inch diameter by 12 inches deep. The rack tom is a 10 inch diameter by seven inches deep, and the snare drum is a 13 inch diameter by five and a half inches deep. Uh, really uh, good sizes. I really think Pearl knocked it out of the park on this one. I've played other and owned other uh, compact drum sets over the years, and the toms always sounded kind of thin. But when I play this kit, I feel like it's a full featured, full sounding kit. I don't feel like I'm really lacking in any way. So I uh, really think they did a good job with that. Uh, the one thing that was a, just a really nice surprise was the bass drum. And the bass drum is just got such a nice, rich, warm tone. And you actually can tune it lower uh, to get uh, kind of a lower frequency uh, resonance from it and it really kind of amazing when I play like, like concert halls with it uh, it just does such a great job of filling the whole hall with, with this I mean just this little bass drum of course there's miking involved but the bass drum has to have some kind of resonance to it uh, in the first place and it really sounds great so uh, no complaints there at all now you notice uh, in the video you're watching right now you can see that the bass drum beater actually hits square in the middle of the drum because there's a riser attachment. And, you know, risers are 
I think pretty good in this case because you've got such a small drum, uh, you need a, to, some way for it to project and if the beater wasn't hitting a dead center it would be a little bit thin I think. So I think that was a really good call on Pearl's part to put a riser on it uh, and uh, it really it makes the whole, the whole drum sing a lot better. One other thing I want to mention uh, about the drums is the finish. Uh, you know, it's it's a it's a wrap, but it's it's pretty nice. Uh, I I really have had uh, no no problems with it whatsoever. Uh, let me change the camera angle so you can kind of get a closer look at it. Uh, this is a you know it's a nice it's just a sparkle kind of a black sparkle uh, color and uh, you know just a wrap. But hey, it looks good and it's durable too. It really uh, stands up. It doesn't. Uh, it protects the wood and uh, you know does a really good job. So I think it's a, it's a nice finish. And for me, in my gigs, uh, I usually don't want to be kind of overstated. Uh, I play a lot of private stuff and things like that. So it's you know you kind of want something that kind of blends into the background, and it's a, it's a nice color for that. So the last thing I want to share with you is another clip of me playing this drum set taken from that same concert. Uh, it's. You know, just the really the the thing that I want to mention about this recording is it's actually uh, pretty amazing. They did EQ and they had you know mic'd it and had some EQ and just a little bit of reverb, uh, but it all went. It was part of a live stream concert and it went basically. There was no post production, so everything was done on the front end, and that means that whatever went to the live stream feed was whatever you got. And they did a really fantastic job of, uh, of mixing the kit. Uh, and so there's really not a lot of extra kind of as you if you've ever recorded in a recording studio later, you can go back and add the little compression, extra compression here and there and balance this and that. Uh, but my playing is also balanced, so I think it makes it easy for them. And when they're when they you know did everything in the beginning, uh, they got it dialed in pretty good. Uh, and I think it, it really uh, portrays a natural, nice natural sound uh, of the kit and really, really highlights the, the finer features, the, the nice warm tone from the toms, the tightness and, and, uh, and uh, articulation of the snare drum, and the nice uh, big open sound of the bass drum. So check this out. <laughs> So you know, this is the kit I play. Uh, I only take time to make videos for things that I actually use. Uh, I'm not just like unboxing this and saying, oh, go buy this. I, I use it and it's roadworthy. I've tested it and I highly recommend it to you if you're looking for a compact drum set. Uh, even if you're just looking for a practice drum set, it's a great kit and you're going to have a lot of fun with it. So uh, I put the links uh, below for everything, for the drums, for the hardware, for the bags, uh, and you know, go check it out and see if it's right for you. Uh, I'm, these are all affiliate links, so if you choose to buy through me, I get a little bit of something on the side to help me uh, pay for my YouTube channel, and uh, really very much appreciate it. So uh, thanks so much for watching again, and as I always say, Keep on drumming. Take care. Drumming for life. Dot com.